When I connected the O3A unit to my previous flight controller, I will not tell you the name so not to like tell that this is a bad flight controller or something. When I was setting up everything from the uh, on the on the workbench, everything was working perfectly. I connect battery, O3A unit uh, boots up. I see the picture in my goggles. Then I tried if the radio works by connecting with USB. Everything worked perfectly. I could go to the flying field for the first time, plug in the battery. Hmm. Radio is not working. Express LRS receiver is not working. Something is off. Hmm. Maybe it's not binded. So I like power cycled the flight controller three times, uh, entered the binding mode again. I was able to fly for uh, one battery. Fantastic. Outstanding. Went home, made some updates, uh, went to the flying field again. I'm plugging in the US uh, battery. <sighs> Express LRS receiver is not working. The LED is solid. The receiver is going into the bootloader mode. Why the hell the receiver is going into bootloader mode? It should not be going into bootloader mode when I plug in the battery. Oh yes, I know the receiver has to be damaged. Okay. Went home, replaced the receiver with the brand new uh, receiver from the Radio Master. Plug in the battery. Receiver goes into uh, bootloader mode. Fuck. What's really going on? Disconnected the battery, plug in the uh, USB cable. Oh, the receiver is not going into the bootloader mode. What the hell is happening? Turn out, mm, my, I think that the O3 air unit was pulling so much current from the flight controller that when I was powering this thing from the battery, the O3 was browning out the flight controller. It was putting some strange uh, signal on the serial port that was forcing the Express LRS receiver of going into the bootloader mode. Then the flight controller was power cycling internally and was booting normally and uh, when you just connected uh, and it was just like not work so express LRS receiver in the bootloader mode flight controller working motors working o3 air unit working perfectly gah <laughs> what a stupid situation i the next day I, I i wanted to fly with this drone so i figured out i got my power bank and before after each landing i was powering the flight controller from the power bank for like five seconds so that the receiver was powering up and not going into the bootloader mode but just like connecting to the radio and only then i was plugging the battery and then i was unconnecting the usb and then i was able to fly for one battery then i had to land and repeat the whole procedure irritating yes working yes of course uh, how i solved this problem <laughs> replace the flight controller replace the flight controller and the ESC with the SpeedyB F405 mini stack 20 by 20 because this is the frame design for the 20 at 20 by 20 everything works no problem with the Express LRS receiver anymore like you plug in the battery everything powers normally absolutely no problems no it is not it was not about the capacitors or rather it was not about the capacity sorry Capacitors I was able to install. I already had the capacitor on the uh, battery and it was not affected. I thought that it might be cap lack, lack of capacitance on the power on the on the receiver. So I soldered a receiver uh, capacitor on the voltage uh, that goes into the Express LRS receiver. No effect. It had to be some combination of the voltage on the serial port itself. And unfortunately, with that setup, I could not solder an additional capacitor for the the air unit power because it's 20 by 20 no space it was just a plug impossible to solder anything then so i just get ah, right, right. okay my box of flight controllers like okay this one goes in and i fixed it it's working but you have to admit it was kind of a stupid situation and <laughs> It should not really happen. Everything was working perfectly fine with the Cadix Vista, but the DJI O3 Air unit was just pulling slightly too much current. It was forcing a brown out on the flight controller. It was going into a legal state and forcing the Express LRS receiver into the bootloader mode. But it was not the 5 volt outputs. It was, I think it was just additional power cycle on the flight controller itself. And this is why building your own drones might be a challenge. Because if you buy a ready-made, it's usually that works. But if you build something by yourself, it's not guaranteed.